afraid that it's gonna be like stabbing someone. I've never done that. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Today we are making Cuban style pork shoulder with mojo sauce. If you wanna see how we picked that recipe, you can see this video right here. If you don't know, we are cooking our way through Christopher Kimball's Milk Street, The New Home Cooking Cookbook. This is our third recipe. This is episode five. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you to everyone who's liked, commented, subscribed. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, please do so. It really helps us out. So we ended up getting all the ingredients. We actually just went to the store. Um, earlier this week, I ordered the pork shoulder because I just wanted to make sure that they would have that cut and that size. And um, we went and picked that up today and we just went ahead and got the rest of the ingredients. It's only $15. How awesome is that? I've also decided that I'm gonna make fried plantains and Cuban style black beans. Hopefully they are authentic because as this is a Cuban dish, I wanted to keep with that cultural cuisine. Okay, so if you're my friend on Facebook, you will have seen that I had some dental work done that wasn't done very well. Well, in YouTube time, that was several weeks ago. In real life, that was yesterday. So if I make some blunders in my speech or anything like that, please just give me a break. This was yesterday that I had to have stitches, so hopefully nothing gets too crazy. Charlie and I both have full-time jobs so we produce videos when we can and so we do have a few in the bank but there will be a new one every week and we just want to make sure that we can keep doing that for you guys let's get started I got this pork and the guy was like it's such a good cut so they added an extra pound so it's like a six pound um, cut of pork so um, I'm gonna do a little bit more than the recipe calls for on the salt so the recipe calls for three tablespoons, so I'm gonna do one. I'm just gonna do like three heaping, three or one tablespoon of smoked paprika. Oh gosh. <laughs> Do you see that? We're off to a great start. Insert a paring knife and then twist it Ew, I'm afraid that it's gonna be like stabbing someone. I've never done that, <laughs> just to clarify. <laughs> oh man, did you hear that sound? That was, oh, oh man, that's not pleasant. That's not pleasant at all. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Is this why people are vegetarians? Cause I could believe it. So now we just put the salt paprika mixture all over the pork. I'm making a mess. It smells smoky. That's the paprika. I don't know if I need to season the fat side. I guess I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> I know it seems like a lot of salt. You always need more salt than you think you do, especially if you use kosher salt, cause like kosher salt isn't as salty as like table salt. And then we wrap it in cling wrap. This is gonna not go well. It didn't go well. Get that rolled up nice and tight. Okay. All right. Now it goes in the fridge overnight. We'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> Welcome back. It's the next day. Uh, the pork has been in the fridge for about 16 hours, so it should be nice and seasoned. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of the fridge. All right, so um, I'm gonna need the food processor again today. Big stretch. Need a teaspoon of orange zest and a teaspoon of lime zest. Need this to do the zest. Hashtag never forget. All right, I think that's probably a teaspoon lime zest. So we need two-thirds of a cup of orange juice. Is there anything better than fresh squeezed orange juice? I just don't think so. It's so good. 
Oh, I need to turn the oven on. It says 400 degrees. Our oven is really inaccurate. Luckily, we have a handy dandy little temperature gauge. All right, so we're just right at the two thirds. So I need third cup of lime juice. So I'm just gonna fill this up to a cup. Getting my hand workout for the day. All right, perfect. We have one cup of total juice. In a food processor, combine both zests, which we've already done, the oregano. We have to go outside. Take some of the big ones. Okay, that should be enough. We'll see. This is a third cup of oregano leaves. This is Greek oregano. I don't know if there's a difference. Charlie tried some though yesterday and he said that it tastes like oregano. So I think we're good. That's a half a cup measuring cup. Whoops. Do you think that's enough? That little line there is a third cup. Back out into the great unknown. All right. I like um, the way fresh herbs smell. I mean, except for cilantro. Speaking of which, I have a friend on who follows our videos and she said that she also has the soap gene and that she uses parsley instead. And also binging with Babish, he does it as well. He calls it cilantro. So we will be using cilantro for this recipe today. <laughs> All goes into the food processor. And then, <laughs> and then, and then, and then. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Eight garlic cloves. These are kind of small, so we're just gonna say that that's eight. I'm really excited to eat this, like, in very small bites. Because my tongue is just not, it, we are not at full bite capacity. I am struggling so hard to get these garlics peeled. To get this garlic peeled. Garlic is plural. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Two. One tablespoon ground cumin. It doesn't fit. <laughs> All right, that's a tablespoon ish. Pepper. <laughs> oh, that is a potent scent of something. Black pepper. All right, and so it says process until the garlic is finely chopped about one minute and this has to go this way <laughs> the struggle is real man that looks pretty finely chopped to me look at that look leak and then it says add a quarter cup of the juice Set and process until combined just want to make sure that it's homogenous I think we're homogenized. <laughs> Is that a word? Homogenized? Man, that oven's janky. Ooh, is that a bad word? I don't know. Sorry if it is. Baby Yoda. Look at him and has his hat. So I have cleaned up and I feel better. We have to make a sling, is what it says. And there are picture instructions. So it says lengthwise first, and then we go the other way. Oh, that was loud. Okay. And then we put the rack in there. Yeah, we're going places. Unwrap the pork and rub all over with the herb garlic pe 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 The herb garlic paste. Sorry, my tongue is broken. <laughs> pork juice. Rub all over with the garlic paste. Massage that in. 
This is definitely pushing me out of my comfort zone. That looks so good. And it says to place the fat cap up. And then it says pour a quarter cup of the juice into the bottom of the pan. Loosely fold the excess parchment paper over the pork. I'm not doing so great. Fold the excess foil up over the pork to create a packet. I gotta stick a probe in there so that we know what temperature it is. I made this. <laughs> Roast until the meat is tender and that registers 190 degrees Fahrenheit. And look, look, y'all. It's, it's perfect. That never happens. That never happens. Let's put this in the oven. In it goes. All right. Set a timer for three hours. Three hours, starting now. Because I figure after three hours, I'll check the temperature on the gauge and see what we're at and then go from there. The, the pork shoulder is still in the oven. It's not quite at temperature yet, but I want to go ahead and get a head start on the prep for the sides. And I will put links to these recipes in the description as well. I think I'm just gonna bust out the food processor again because I need finely chopped things. Like a lot of things. So I need one shallot. This is a twinsy. It's got two in it. And here we are again with the things that are hard to peel. One red pepper. All right. And eight garlic cloves for the win. For future reference, I think I'm going to buy pre-peeled garlic because this sucks. Okay. I just need to pulse these for a second. My eyeballs. Every time. So it says you need really ripe ones. I couldn't remember if it called for two or three, so I got six. I'm really interested in these. I've never eaten them. Oh gosh, it's kind of hard to peel. I'm gonna taste it, Let's see what it tastes like. It doesn't really have much flavor. Like mild bananas. Cool. That's so satisfying. <laughs> so we are at 190 internal for the pork. So I'm gonna take it out of the oven. You hear that? 